Welcome to episode 2 of our new cars for 2024 special. Over this video, we'll cover all the new and updated SUVs headed to a showroom near you. You can learn about upcoming hatchbacks, sedans and MPVs due for launch in 2024 in episode 1. And if it's new electric vehicles that you're keen on, episode 3 that drops soon will tell you all that's coming our way. Before we begin, please ensure you're subscribed to the Autocar India channel and have hit the bell icon to be notified every time we have a new video up. The updated Audi Q8 has just been revealed and it's coming to India by mid-2024. Changes are minimal and include a restyled grille and mildly tweaked front and rear bumpers. Lighting sees an upgrade with the option of HD Matrix LED laser headlights and OLED tail lamps with unique light signatures. Inside, the updated Q8 retains the twin screen layout as before and there are no changes expected to the feature set that includes items like a panoramic sunroof, 4-zone climate control and the option of air suspension. India will get the Q8 with the 3.0-litre V6 petrol engine and later on the RS Q8 with a 4.0-litre V8 will also join the lineup. Expect prices to start at around 1.2 crore rupees. Giving the Audi Q8 competition will be the updated version of the original SUV Coupe, the BMW X6. The X6 has received a facelift and the updated model is headed our way in 2024. The X6 gets a revised nose with new headlights and now comes as standard with the M Sport styling package. Tail end styling has been refreshed too. Inside there's the switch to BMW's latest digital dials and touchscreen infotainment system. Models abroad can be had with a 3.0-litre diesel engine, though BMW will likely only offer the 3.0-litre petrol engine in India as was the case before. All engines get 48 volt mild hybrid tech as standard. The MAD X6 M60i with a 530 hp 4.4-litre V8 twin-turbo petrol engine could also be offered. 2024 will mark the India arrival of the Ferrari Puro Sangue. Ferrari refrains from calling it an SUV but describes the Puro Sangue as its first four-door, four-seat model. Whichever way you look at it, the standout stat for Indian buyers is its 180mm of ground clearance that guarantees an everyday usability like no Ferrari before. The overall stance is more raised four-door coupe than brute SUV and it's, for instance, lower than a Lamborghini Urus at the roof. The cockpit is sporty and the rear seats are properly usable with access via rear hinged powered doors. There's enough luggage room too if you are one to travel light. At the heart of the Puro Sangue is a 725 horsepower 6.5 litre naturally aspirated V12 engine that sends power to the rear wheels via an 8 speed dual clutch transmission and the front wheels via a 2 speed power transmission unit. Strict suspension, torque vectoring at the front axle, an E diff at the back, and four wheel steering promise supercar handling. Prices are likely to start at, hold your breath, 7 crore rupees. And that's before options. The Ford's Gurkha lineup is all set to expand with the launch of the 5 door version of the off roader. The model has been spotted testing repeatedly over the past year, and spy picks suggest multiple seating configurations, including a standard second row bench or optional captain's chairs, and there'll be third row seating as well. Elsewhere, the interior will be similar to the 3 row model. The rugged off-roader will be sold with the same 90 horsepower 2.6 litre diesel engine and 5 speed manual gearbox arrangement. A two wheel drive version will likely be the entry point to the Gurkha 5 door range, while four wheel drive versions could get a shift on the fly 4x4 system. The Gurkha 5 door should go on sale by early 2024 with prices in the region of 16 lakh rupees. The model will go up against Mahindra's 5 door Thar that also debuts next year. A pickup derivative of the Gurkha has also been spotted on test, but there's no confirmation of production plans as yet. The hugely popular Hyundai Creta is due for a big update. In look, the facelifted Creta will likely be different to the model sold in Southeast Asian markets, and styling will link to Hyundai's global flagship SUV, the Palisade. Expect the redone front end to feature a large grille with horizontal slats, split projector LED headlamps and vertically oriented LED daytime running lamps. While the interior could see new color combos and refreshed elements, the more notable changes will come in terms of tech. Full digital dials, an updated touchscreen, a 360 degree camera and ADAS features including lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control and auto emergency braking will be part of the already expansive feature set. 
Engine options will include the current 1.5 litre naturally aspirated petrol and 1.5 litre turbo diesel engines. And there'll also be the return of a turbo petrol option with Hyundai's 160HP 1.5 litre unit joining the Creta lineup. A sportier N line version will also be introduced over time. Manual gearboxes will be standard fit and all engines will also be available with some type of automatic transmission too. Buzz is that the model will be presented for a Bharat NCAP crash test score ahead of launch. The Hyundai Creta facelift comes in early 2024 with prices expected in the 11 to 20 lakh rupee price band. The Creta's three-row derivative, the Alcazar, will also be updated by mid-2024. Styling will be in line with the latest Hyundais and, like the Creta, the feature set will be enhanced with ADAS functions. The 1.5-litre turbo petrol and 1.5-litre turbo diesel engine options will continue as on the current model. Pricing will start at about 17 lakh rupees, with fully loaded models likely to come in at about 23 lakh rupees. Hyundai has officially unveiled the facelifted version of the Tucson. The model will arrive in India, but don't expect it before the middle of next year at the earliest. The updated Tucson features a redesigned front grille, while the DRLs have a rounded signature versus the angular look of the current model. The front and rear bumpers have also been updated with skid plates, and new alloy wheel designs complete the updates outside. It's inside that the Tucson gets a significant update, with the infotainment touchscreen and driver's display seamlessly integrated into a single curved panel behind a new-look steering wheel. The center console features a haptic control stack for various functions, and physical dials for the climate control system are new too. Hyundai is not expected to make any changes to the Tucson's powertrain options in India. The facelifted SUV will likely retain the current 156 horsepower 2 litre petrol and 186 horsepower 2 litre diesel engines. The Kia Sonnet has been on sale since 2020 and is due for a facelift. The updates will bring in refreshed styling with redone headlamps, bumpers, and tail lamps, and new wheel designs. Inside, there'll be a new digital instrument cluster, an updated touchscreen and a redone center console. The big feature upgrade will likely come in the form of ADAS functions for the range-topping variants. No changes are expected to the powertrain and, as before, the Sonnet will be available with a 1.2-litre naturally aspirated petrol, a 1-litre turbo petrol and a 1.5-litre diesel engine. The updated Sonnet comes in early 2024 and prices will likely start at about 8 lakh rupees. Mahindra's big launch for 2024 will be the longer 5-door version of the Thar. The model has been spotted across the country and the basic silhouette is very close to Jeep's Wrangler that's also sold in India in 5-door form. Aside from the longer wheelbase and the addition of rear doors, LED projector headlamps, a restyled grille, pillar-mounted rear door handles and a sunroof are other items that have been spotted on test vehicles. On the inside, the familiar dashboard will now be home to a larger touchscreen, while the front seats will get armrests for added comfort. The rear seat will be a bench type, while a third row of seating is unlikely. The Thar 5-door will be offered with the same 2.2-litre diesel and 2-litre petrol engines as the 3-door model, and both engines will get manual and auto gearbox options. 4x4 will be offered with both engines, and 4x2 versions could also be part of the lineup eventually. Expect the Thar 5-door range to start at about 16 lakh rupees when it goes on sale in early 2024. The Mahindra XUV 300 Compact SUV will be updated soon and there'll be quite a lot that'll change. Styling will be refreshed with elements like the headlamps and tail lamps linking the XUV 300 to Mahindra's BE concepts. The interior will also be spruced up with the restyled dashboard that will now house a larger touchscreen and there's the possibility of digital dials as well. Mahindra will also tap into the craze for panoramic sunroofs with the feature set to debut on the updated XUV 300. There'll be no change to cabin space, so the tight luggage area will continue to be an issue on the XUV 300. Engine options will include a pair of 1.2-litre turbo petrols with the more powerful 131 horsepower TGDI unit set to be offered with the new option of a 6-speed torque converter automatic transmission. Mahindra's punchy 1.5 diesel will also remain on sale. The updated Mahindra XUV 300 goes on sale in early 2024 and prices are expected to start at about 8.5 lakh rupees ex showroom. The Mahindra XUV 700 has had a dream run since launch in 2021 and even now the waiting period stretches into months and even over a year for some versions. However, Mahindra will give the hot-selling XUV 700 a minor update soon. 
Feature additions will include an auto dimming interior rear view mirror that's been missing since launch, and front seat ventilation will also be added. A six seat version with captain's chairs for the middle row will also be added to the expansive variant list. Whether the six seat option will be exclusive to top spec models is not yet known. The feature update won't come with any changes to the petrol or diesel engines or transmission options on offer. You can think of the Grecale as Maserati's answer to the Porsche Macan. It's a mid-sized luxury SUV that puts big emphasis on the driving experience. There's the usual Maserati styling elements like a grille dominated by the Trident, the gills at the side and the iconic Maserati glasshouse. The boomerang-shaped LED DRLs at the back are a link to the 3200 GT sports car of the late 1990s. Inside, you'll find Italian craftsmanship poured over a tech-rich cabin. There's digital dials, a touchscreen for the infotainment system, another one for the climate control system, and even the traditional clock is digital here. The Grecale will be offered in India in three flavors. The entry GT features a 2-litre turbo petrol engine that makes 300 horsepower. On the Moderna, engine power is bumped up to 330 horsepower, while the full-fat Grecale Trofeo comes powered by Maserati's New Age 3-litre Netuno turbo petrol engine from the MC20. Peak power stands at 530 horsepower and Maserati claims a 0-100 kph time of just 3.8 seconds. The Grecale goes on sale in India in the coming weeks with prices set to start around 1 crore rupees. Mercedes' smallest crossover, the GLA, will get a mild update in 2024. Styling tweaks are minimal with a redone grille mesh and a new signature for the LED DRLs. On the inside too, updates will be limited to an updated version of Merck's MBUX infotainment system. Power options will include the current lineup of a 1.3-litre turbo petrol and a 2-litre diesel, with the souped-up AMG 35 version on offer with a 306 horsepower 2-litre turbo petrol unit. Expect a bump up in prices with the update that comes in early 2024. Mercedes will also update the GLB over the coming year. As with the GLA, styling changes will be subtle and include a refreshed grille and new LED signature for the headlights. Interior updates will be limited to an updated infotainment system. The model's USP will remain its third row of seating. The GLB will continue with the current 160 horsepower 1.3 liter turbo petrol engine and the 190 horsepower 2 liter turbo diesel engine. Mercedes will also update its largest and grandest SUV, the GLS. Changes outside will be subtle with the model identifiable by a larger four-slag grille, revised LED DRLs and reprofiled tail lamps. Inside, there's an upgraded infotainment system that also brings in Merck's transparent bonnet, which shows a view of the surface beneath the car. The massive seven-seat SUV will be offered with three-liter petrol and diesel engines and prices will likely start at around 1.4 crore rupees. As before, topping the range will be the Maybach GLS 600 that in updated Avtar gets tweaks of its own including new ambient lighting with the projection of the Maybach logo. Prices for the Maybach will likely top 3 crore rupees. The latest gen Mercedes-Benz GLC Coupe is out and it's coming to India in 2024. Frontal styling is similar to the standard GLC SUV, though it's the sloping roofline and high set deck at the back that gives the GLC Coupe its distinct personality. Inside, it's new age Mercedes with a portrait oriented touchscreen taking center stage. Sportier cabin themes will help set the interior apart from the standard SUV. The impact of the sloping roofline on rear seat headroom and comfort remains to be seen though. If the current GLC Coupe is anything to go by, the new model will be offered with 2-litre petrol and diesel engines and also expected is the AMG GLC 43 with a 406 horsepower 2-litre turbo petrol engine. The Mini lineup is set for a major refresh in 2024 and among the new offerings will be the all-new Mini Countryman. The third-gen model is not so mini in size, having grown a substantial 130mm in length. Styling is a more angular interpretation of the classic Mini look. The interior is also very mini, yet very modern with the large round screen at the centre of the dash playing dials and also your screen for the infotainment system. The length extension brings with it more rear seat space and there's more luggage room than before as well. Engines for India are not known for the moment, but options include a 1.5-litre three-cylinder turbo petrol engine shared with the BMW X1 or a more powerful 218 horsepower two-litre four-cylinder unit. The Countryman will also be available in all-electric form.
The Nissan X-Trail has been on the cards for an India launch for a while now and is scheduled to finally go on sale in our market in 2024. Now in its fourth generation, the X-Trail is quite substantial in size and will go up against models like the Škoda Kodiak. The interior is well specced with features like a 12.3-inch digital driver display and a 12.3-inch touchscreen. What remains to be seen is if Nissan will offer the three-row seven-seat configuration in India. Engine options abroad include a 163 horsepower 1.5 litre turbo petrol, but Nissan could use the model in India as a tech demonstrator with its e-power hybrid powertrain. Here, the engine merely acts as a generator for an electric motor that actually drives the wheels. Nissan will bring the X-Trail to India as a CBU import and correspondingly, it'll be pricey, upwards of about 40 lakh rupees. Range Rover Striking Evoque will get an update in early 2024. Tweaks outside are limited to a redone grille insert and new LED DRLs. The big news inside is the revised dashboard that sports a minimalist look like the latest lot of Range Rovers. Taking pride of place inside is an 11.4-inch curved touchscreen that's your go-to control for infotainment and climate control settings. 2.0-litre petrol and diesel engines will be offered as before with standard fit all-wheel drive. Pricing will be in the region of 80 lakh rupees. Skoda's new gen Kodiak recently made its debut and it's coming to India around mid 2024. There's a clear link to the outgoing model up front, but you'll also find softer lines at the sides, a seamless glass house, and a longer rear overhang embellished by a contrast D pillar. The new Kodiak is a big departure on the inside with the dashboard dominated by a 13 inch touchscreen. Thankfully, also included are physical dials with inset screens for the climate control system and drive modes. Digital instruments and a panoramic sunroof are also part of the package. Škoda claims enhanced interior space for all three rows as well as more luggage space too. In markets abroad, the Kodiak can be had with a plug-in hybrid powertrain, though India will most probably get a 2.0-litre TSI turbo petrol engine with 204 horsepower and standard fit all-wheel drive. The Kodiak will likely start at about 40 lakh rupees. Tata has a big launch in store for 2024 in the Curve SUV. The model will mark Tata's entry in the crowded mid-size SUV segment that includes models like the Hyundai Creta, Kia Seltos, Honda Elevate, Volkswagen Tiguan, Škoda Kushak, Maruti Grand Vitara, Toyota Urban Cruiser and MG Aster. Giving the Curve standout appeal will be its design because the model will sport a unique coupe SUV look. Sharp styling and edgy details also promise to give the Curve greater show value. Inside, the model will feature a minimalist theme and also get Tata's latest tech, including a 12.3-inch touchscreen, digital dials and touch panels for the climate control system. A 360-degree camera and sunroof will also be offered. Interior space and the impact of that sloping roof on rear headroom will be interesting to see. According to sources, the curve will launch in EV form and we'll cover that model in greater detail in our upcoming EVs video. The petrol version of the curve will follow by mid-2024 with Tata's all-new 1.2-litre turbo petrol engine. This new turbocharged direct injection unit will make 125 horsepower and 225 Nm, which are up on Tata's current 1.2 turbo petrols, 120 horsepower and 175 Nm figures. The new petrol engine will be offered with manual and automatic gearbox options and there's the high possibility of a CNG variant as well. Notably, like most of its rivals, the curve will not be offered with the diesel engine. Expect pricing in the 12 to 20 lakh rupee bracket for the curve. Toyota and Suzuki's partnership will yield yet another shared model in India. Toyota is readying its version of the Maruti Suzuki Franks. Likely to be called the Toyota Urban Cruiser Taser, the model will get minimal cosmetic tweaks to help distinguish it from its Suzuki cousin. Inside too, the changes will be restricted to new colours and badging alone. The crossover will come with the 1.2-litre mild hybrid petrol engine with manual and AMT options, and there'll be a CNG version as well. The Taser will also get Suzuki's new 1.0-litre booster jet turbo petrol engine, making this the first Toyota in India to be offered with a turbo petrol power plant. The Taser will be slightly pricier than its Maruti equivalent, but could offer a similar value proposition thanks to a longer standard warranty. In our next video, we'll cover all the new electric cars headed our way in 2024. Stay tuned.